says in Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse number 53, that it is Allah who has let feed two bodies of flowing water, one sweet and palatable, the other salt and bitter. Though they meet, they do not mix. Between them there is a barrier which is forbidden to be trespassed. Quran says in Surah Rahman, chapter 55, verse number 19 and 20, It is Allah who has let free two bodies of flowing water. Though they meet, they do not mix. Between them, there is a barrier which is forbidden to be trespassed. Previously, the commentators of the Quran wondered, what does the Quran mean? We know about sweet and salt water, but between them, there is a barrier. Though they meet, they do not mix. Today, after advancement of oceanology, we have come to know that whenever one type of water flows into the other type of water, it loses its constituents and gets homogenized into the water it flows. There is a slanting, homogenizing area which the Quran refers to as barzakh, unseen barrier. And this has been agreed upon by several scientists, even of America, by the name of Dr. Hay. He's an oceanologist. And Dr. William Campbell writes in his book that it is an observable phenomena. The fishermen of that time knew there were two types of water, salt and sweet. So Prophet Muhammad, during the expedition to Syria, he may have gone in the sea, or he might have spoken to these fishermen. Sweet and salt water is an observable phenomena, I agree. But people did not know that there was an unseen barrier until recently. The scientific point to be noted here is the barzakh, not the sweet and the salt water.